Hello and welcome to Somerville Highlander Softball on Somerville Ed TV. I'm Todd Harmon and today from Trum Field in Somerville, we have the Highlanders versus the Medford Mustangs. Of course, the uh, Mustangs come in as the visiting squad. They are starting off batting on the mound for the Highlanders today is French as French's first delivery is a chopper to short fielded nicely there, fired over to first Bartlett with a great job on the stretch. And that is the first one away as that was Ferroz's grounding out the shortstop. She is the opposing shortstop for Medford. That's gonna bring up Marina DeSimone. Medford coming in with a record of four and two. Highlanders with a record of two and three. This first offering from French to DeSimone is in there for a strike. It is senior day here at Trum Field. So Highlanders celebrate their seniors. That's a chopper foul. Down the third baseline. No balls, two strikes. Now the count to DeSimone. One away here, just underway at Trum Field. Senior day. So Highlanders celebrate their seniors. That is a swing and a miss by DeSimone. Strike out there for French. Two away now for the Highlanders as McDonough, McDonough steps in. Pops that one back into the backstop. No balls, one strike, the count. You can see along the backstop there on the first base side, we have the banners of the five seniors on the squad this year. Samantha Conley, Lindsay Farena, Elizabeth McHugh, and Cindy Wilson. And that's driven out as I'm trying to talk about something the other direction. Left center field, rounding second as the ball is brought into the cutoff. And that's going to be a home run for McDonough. As she cranks that one into the gap. And it is a 1-0 lead for Medford. So as I was saying right before, Miss McDonough so rudely interrupted as we celebrate those seniors, Elizabeth McHugh and Cindy Wilson and, Ka and Katie Zico as well as Eisner steps in. First pitch is in there. So French giving up the home run to McDonough. One nothing lead here for Medford as that is a strike to Eisner. One left, nothing lead here for Medford. Medford with a good record this year, four and two in their six games. Highlanders two and three this year. So that one's grounded towards short. A little trouble there. Able to knock it down as Gillis was able to get it knocked down, but safe at first is Eisner. So that'll bring up Andrews. So we get a quick pinch runner in there for Eisner. That's Paul Roy, by the way, the pinch runner, Sophie, Sophia Paul Roy. First offering from Finch, or French, I said, should say, is hit back into the backstop by Andrews. So Medford here with a runner on first. One run across on a home run by McDonough. Two away. This one's lifted into left field, settling underneath it just over her head, unfortunately. As Farina not quite able to get that one, brings it in, a run is across as Andrews gets a double into, center, into left field. So two nothing is your score. Oh 
That'll bring up Rebecca Price. Price, the opposing pitcher today for Medford. Medford now with a runner on second, two away. Delivery from French. Took a little bit off, it looks like, for strike one. Price well out ahead of it there. Very hot day, upper 80s here at Trum Field. Breeze is blowing down the left field line. And trust me, I enjoy that breeze as a stolen base by Andrews as she's able to take third. Pitch was a strike to Price, so the count moves to no balls, two strikes to Price. Two away here. Medford with two across already, and that is strike three to Price. Second strikeout of the inning for French, and that will do it. So the Medford puts three or two across, I should say, here in the top of the first. And we are back here at Trum Field. It's the Highlanders trail 2-0 after letting two across in the top of the first. Grover leading off for the Highlanders here on the bottom of the first. Thinks about squaring around. Pulls the bat back for ball one. Rebecca Price on the mound for Melrose. Watching her warm up earlier, she was really popping the mitt. Got some velocity on there. So it was a rise ball for a strike. One ball, one strike. Now the count. Highlanders with two wins on the season. They had a two, that's bunted foul. One ball, two strikes. Now the count to Grover. Highlanders with two wins on the season. 12-0 victory over Chelsea in a uh, closely battled 6-5 victory over Malden. The pitch from Price is outside for ball two. Two balls, two strikes, now the count to Grover. And that's a called third strike. Caught the upper part of the strike zone there. So one away here. That will bring up French. She's the starting pitcher for the Highlanders. As this one's lifted up towards us, as a matter of fact, going out into the street. I had no play on that ball. I just want to make it clear. Strike one now to French. No balls, one strike, now the count. So that one's down along the ground for ball one. One ball, one strike, the count to French. Maintaining a grip on the ball might be difficult for Price today. Very hot out here today, could get a sweaty hand. Another low ball. Two balls, one strike, now the count. That one's in there for a called strike, catches the uh, lower part of the zone. Two balls, two strikes, now the count to French. Took a little bit off that one. French was able to get the bat to it. Found, fielded expertly by the shortstop, though, sent over to first for the out. I'll bring up Hardy for the Highlanders. Oh, nope. Yep. Sorry, looked at the wrong number on my sheet. So Hardy swings at the first pitch and misses. Price again taking a little bit off of that pitch. No balls, one strike the count. Two away here, bottom of the first. So Hardy will foul that back into the backstop. No balls, two strikes, now the count. The offering from Price up high for ball one. One ball, two strikes, the count to Hardy. Two away here for the Highlanders, trailing two nothing in the bottom half of the first inning. So that one's down low in the dirt. Ball two, two balls, two strikes the count. 
as price ratchets up the velocity, it seems to be her, her release point seems to be a little bit off. See if she takes a little bit off this one. She does, but leaves it up high for ball three. Two, three balls, two strikes. Now the count. It's Hardy has it filled up in this at bat. Two away. Highlanders down by two, and that will be ball four. As Hardy gets on first, that will bring up one of our seniors today, Elizabeth McEwen. McEwen, of course, a multi-sport athlete for the Highlanders. I've enjoyed covering her with the basketball team for multiple years now as well. As Price took a little bit off that. Very nice location, low in the zone. McEwen couldn't do much but waste that pitch. And she spoils it for a foul ball. Islanders have a runner on first. That's Hardy. Got there by virtue of a walk. Count now is 0-1 to McEwen. That one looked like it was low, maybe. Yep, one and one is the count. And McEwen lifts this one up. And it's going to drop in a little bloop. And trying for third is Hardy, and she is in standing up. McEwen heads up running as she follows it to second base. She'll get a single and advance to second on that throw, so the Highlanders have something brewing here with Hardy on third, McEwen on second. That brings up Pasqualino. Pasqualino swings and tips that one back into the backstop. No balls, one strike, now the count. Highlanders trailing by two, but the tying run at second base in the person of Elizabeth McEwen. Runners on second and third for the Highlanders. Two away here, bottom half of the first. So that one's low for ball one. Don Eisner, the catcher for Melrose, has to be, or Medford, I should say, sorry. Got my M's mixed up. For Medford, has to be aware and keep that ball in front of her with that runner at third. That one's up high for ball two. Two balls, one strike. Now the count to Pasqualino. Price delivers. Fired down to third over the third baseman's head. Hardy breaking to home. McEwen breaking to third, and the Highlanders have a run across. Pasqualino now. Swings, drives it down the left field line. Foul. It'll fill up the count, I think. Highlanders trailing two to one now as they've gotten one across here in the bottom half of the first. McEwen tying run is at third base. See if Pasqualino can pick her up with two away. As that one's up high for ball four. Second walk of the inning for Price. Brings up Katie Zico, another one of the seniors for the Highlanders. Katie Zico, another multi-sport athlete. I've had the uh, pleasure of covering in basketball as well. As that one's in there for a called strike, catches the upper part of the zone to Zico. Runners on the corners for the Highlanders, trailing by one, two to one, here in the bottom half of the first. Swing and miss for Katie Zico. Good velocity on that one from Price. No balls, two strikes, now the count. Two away here in the bottom of the first. And Zico swings and misses, and that will do it. 
as Price picks up her second strikeout of the inning. Highlander is able to get one across. They leave two on. We move to the top half of the second. Highlanders trailing two to one. We are back for the top of the second inning here at Trum Field. Highlanders trailing two to one as Medford sends to the plate their third baseman, Lazaro. She'll lead off against French and she tips it back into the backstop to start this at bat off. No balls, one strike, the count. Medford able to get two across in the top half of the first. Highlanders get one across. Two to one now in the top of the second. French's pitch swung on and missed for strike two. No balls, two strikes, the count. French very, very much around the plate. Price, the opposing pitcher for Medford, struggled with her control, walked two in that first inning. As that one's up high, so I complimented her control, left one very high for ball one. One ball, two strikes now, the count to Lazaro. So that is tipped back. Count remains one ball, two strikes. French will deliver. Left that one up high for ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Now the count to Lazaro. That one swung on, popped towards first. Easily handled there by Bartlett. That'll bring up Finnegan. Uh, Allison Finnegan, the left fielder for Medford. One away here, top half of the second inning. Highlanders trailing by one, two to one. This French kicks and delivers. This one's lifted down the left field line, and that is caught by Ferreira. Great job by Lindsay out there. She was able to corral that one for the out. Two away here in the top of the second. Brings up Allison DeTucci, a right fielder for Medford. Two away now here in the top of the second. That one's outside for ball one. Ball two from French. Two balls, no strikes. Now the count to DeTucci. French leaves that one up high for ball three. Three straight balls to DeTucci. Two away here, top half of the second inning. Highlanders trailing by one, two to one. That one's in there for a called strike. Detucci taking all the way. Three balls, two strikes, or one strike, I should say, now the count. That's swung on, grounded to second. Sent over by Hardy, or I'm sorry, not by Hardy, my apologies. Sent over by Grover to first base. Bartley makes the play, and that'll do it. On the 4-3 put out. We move on to the bottom half of the second inning. Highlanders trailing by one, two to one. They will have Bartlett, Lindsey Ferreira, and Gillis coming to the plate here in the bottom of the second. Bartlett leads it off for the Highlanders. Facing off against Rebecca Price for Medford. Price's first offering is in there for called strike one. Bartlett, the first baseman for the Highlanders, Really great job on the opening play of the game as she was able to dig out a tough throw from short to get the out at first as she fouls that one back into the screen for strike two. No balls, two strikes, now the count to Bartlett. First inning, Price 
Struggled a bit with a control walk too, but also struck out too. As that is in there for a called third strike. That's her second called third strike of the game and her third strikeout. That'll bring up Lindsay Farena for the Highlanders. One of the seniors on the Highlander squad as we celebrate senior day here at Trum Field. As that one's fouled off by Price. Good bat speed by Farena. She was able to get that inside pitch, get some kind of bat on it. Price showing a lot of velocity out there on the mound. Much better control, it appears, this inning as well. As that one is stung down the first baseline, foul. Strike two on Farena. No balls, two strikes. Now the count. outside for ball one. One ball, two strikes the count to Ferreira. Highlanders trailing by a run, one away here. Bottom of the second. That one's down low for ball two. Two balls, two strikes the count to Lindsay Ferreira. That is shot down the third baseline, fielded over there by Lazaro. Her throw is off target towards first. And on first will be Farena. Farena hustling down that line, causing that throw to go errantly. As Lazaro forced to try to make the play quickly if she knocked down that ball. I'm not an official scorer, but I'm giving her a single on that one, and that'll bring up Gillis with one away here in the bottom of the second. First offering to Gillis is low for ball one. So Lindsey Farena at first base for the Highlanders. And Gillis pops this one towards second, handled easily there by Sasso. That's two away here. Bring up Grover. Swing and a miss for Grover there. Grover struck out looking in the first inning. Two away here, bottom of the second. Highlanders trailing by a run. As that one is a called strike two. No balls, two strikes, now the count. Fastball in there for strike three. And that will do it as a second inning in a row. Price strikes out two. Highlanders go out with, go down without scoring. They trail two to one as we move to the third. Senior day here at Trum Field. Breeze continues to blow and we are very happy for that as it is quite warm here at Trum Field. But glad the uh, softball team can get out here and enjoy their senior day. They are trailing two to one here as we move to the top of the third. As Medford will turn their lineup over. Ferocious leading off. Umpire having a conversation with the coaches. for the Highlanders. Two strikeouts on the day, struck out two in the first inning. And a one, two, three inning in the top half of the second as well. Medford got both of their runs in the first. Feroz is grounded out to short. She bunts that one, fielded by French, throws it over to first, not in time. As Bartlett was able to snag that one out of the air. And then she takes second base. No, out at second. I was looking down and about to write on my score sheet and she tried to take second base and was thrown out. Heads up play there by the Highlanders. I'm not totally sure what I'm gonna write down on my score sheet now, however. But that brings up 
DeSimone. DeSimone, one of those strikeouts in the first inning. As that one's ball one. Outside. And that is fouled back towards the catcher. Strike one, one ball, two strikes. We call that a 1-6-4 put out. After a single is what we will call that. So one away here, nobody on base. Ball two. French's delivery to DeSimone. Two balls, one strike now. The count, one away. Top half of the third. Highlanders trailing two to one. As that one's drilled into center field, ranging over, looking to make the play, but unable to, is Katie Zico. It goes all the way back to deep center as DeSimone comes into third base standing with the triple in the center field. Zico looked like she might have had a beat on that one for a moment, but it just drifted a little bit out of her reach. And that's going to bring up McDonough, who homered into the left field gap in the first inning. Medford leading two to one. They have a runner on third, one away here. Top half of the third inning. Medford threatening. French sends that one in, takes a little bit off it, and gets it in for strike one. Donna swung at the first pitch she saw in the first inning and cranked it into the left field gap. That is in there for strike two. She catches the inside corner, no balls, two strikes. Is French coming right at McDonough. One away here, top half of the third inning. Highlanders trailing by one. Medford has a runner on third, and this is popped up and handled easily by Elizabeth McEwen at third base. Runner stays at third, so two away here. French looking to get out of danger as she faces off against Dawn Eisner. Eisner, the catcher for Medford. Grounded to the shortstop, got on first. In the first, and she cranks that one towards center, but there is Katie Zico as she was perfectly positioned and catches that one on the line. The Highlanders take the threat from Medford and turn it away. And the score remains two to one. Highlanders trailing as we move to the bottom of the third. We move to the bottom half of the third inning. Highlanders trailing two to one as they turned away a threat there in the top of the third from Medford as DeSimone tripled but was left stranded at third base as French was able to get the last two outs of the inning. So the Highlanders with French leading off now here in the bottom of the third, trailing by a run. French struck out, or I'm sorry, grounded out, I should say, in the first inning. That's in there for a called strike. Swing and a miss there for French. Good velocity on that pitch by Price. O2 delivery, swung on and miss at the high cheese for strike three. That'll bring up Hardy. Hardy walked back in the first inning, came around to score the Highlanders' lone run. Fouled back on that first delivery from Price. One delivery now from Price, one away here. As that one's a line shot, but handled excellently at third base by Lazaro. Great job by Lazaro on that one. She snags it for the second out, and they'll bring up Elizabeth McEwen. McEwen singled in the first. That's in there for a strike. A 
That's a chopper towards second, fielded there, tossed over to first, and that'll do it. A 1-2-3 inning after the 4-3 put out. We move to the fourth inning. Highlanders trailing by the score of 2-1. Highlanders trailing by the score of 2-1. to one. As we're going to have a pinch hitter up for Medford. They're going to bring in Olivia Tufts to pinch hit here. French still on the mound for the Highlanders. Tufts is going to pinch hit for Andrews. Andrews had an RBI double in the first as that is fouled off. Andrews had an RBI double in the first. Stole third base and was stranded there in the first inning. Tufts now with the opportunity at the plate, pinch hitting. As she puts a charge into that one into center field. And Zico settles right underneath it and takes care of it. No issues there for Zico. That'll bring up Medford's pitcher today, Rebecca Price. Price struck out back in the first inning, 0 for 1 on the day. So that is a hot shot to third base. McEwen able to knock it down, but not able to corral it as Price is on at first. Pinch runner, runner there as Impimba will pinch run at first base. Up to bat right now, Lazaro with one away here. Top half of the fourth inning. Islanders trailing two to one. So Medford's got a runner on first. That ball is up high from French for ball one. Lazaro popped out to first base in the second. This one's a pop-up as well towards second. Could get into that area, that dead zone there, right in shallow left, right center. As a bloop single, we'll put runners on first and second for the Mustangs. And Allison Finnegan will come up. Finnegan had great contact, just a line shot out to center field. That Katie Zico was able to handle. Well, I apologize. Actually, Lindsay Ferreira was able to handle back in the second. That's in there for a called strike. Runners on first and second for Medford. They lead two to one. Top half of the fourth inning. French leaves that one up high. One and one, now the count. One away here, top half of the fourth inning. Medford with runners on first and second. That is a pop up towards second base. And she settles right underneath it, does Grover and makes that play. I'll bring up Allison Tucci. Tucci grounded out to second base back in the second. Two away now. It's Medford trying to add on to their two to one lead. Has runners on first and second. French trying to pitch her way out of this issue. That is a line shot towards, the, towards short. She'll flip it over to third. And that will do it on the force out at third. The Highlanders get out of the inning without allowing a run. Score remains two to one as we move to the bottom of the fourth. We are back for the bottom half of the fourth inning. Highlanders trailing two to one. As Pasqualoni will lead this one off for the Highlanders. She walked back in the first inning. Was left stranded at first base. First offering there is in there for a called strike. It's Rebecca Price still on the mound for Medford. As five strikeouts on the day. Pascaloni fouls that one back into the screen for strike two. No balls, two strikes the count. Time is called. Pascaloni will step back in. 
low scoring game here, two to one. Excellent pitcher's duel between Price and French. So that one's just low for ball one. One ball, two strikes to count now to Pasqualoni. Pasqualino, I mean. Can't read my own writing. Pasqualino swings and misses at that one. Sixth strikeout. We're gonna see whether maybe it was a foul. It might have come off of the bat, which in which case, oh. So let's see here, we got Pasqualino coming back. It's gonna be a foul ball, foul tip, not handled by the catcher. So Pasqualino lives to swing another day. One ball, two strikes to count, nobody out here. Bottom of the fourth, Highlanders trailing by one, two to one. As that is in there for a called third strike. As Rebecca, Rebecca Price said, I'll just take care of this myself. That's gonna bring up Katie Zico. Zico has been a defensive stalwart this evening as that's swung on, grounded towards third. Lazaro playing in and was not able to handle it as it was a chopper to her. So Zico gets the single there. She's now one for two on the day after striking out in the first. A single here in the second. The Highlanders have something going with one away in the bottom of the fourth. Bartlett steps in. She struck out looking back in the second. That's in there for called strike one. Price really bringing a good velocity. And her location has been excellent. She's faltered a bit on her control in the first inning, but since then has done an excellent job as that one's left up high for ball one. One ball, one strike, now the count to Bartlett. Islanders trailing by one, one away here, bottom of the fourth. Katie Zico at first base for the Highlanders. Bartlett at the plate, swings and misses. Strike two, one ball, two strikes, now the count. And that one's in there for called strike three. Second strikeout of the inning for Price. That is her seventh of the day. She's gotten two strikeouts in each inning except for the third, where they went, where the Highlanders went one, two, three, but only one by virtue of the strikeout. And that will bring in Verena as Lindsay. Steps in. Lindsay got a single back in the second, was left stranded at first base. Two away here, bottom half of the fourth, as that one's low for ball. Ball one, one ball, one strike. Now the count to Lindsay Ferreira. Zico at first. Islanders trailing by one, two to one. There's two away as that one is fouled back into the screen by Lindsay. One ball, two strikes. Now the count. Price has already struck out two this inning. And she's gonna notch a third. She took a little bit off that one. Strikes a third Highlander out that inning and that is her eighth of the game. And the Highlanders trail by one, two to one as we move to the fifth. We're back for the top half of the fifth inning. Highlanders trailing two to one. Medford coming to bat here in the top of the fifth. They will turn the lineup over and their lead off, Rayan. Ferosis will lead off. Ferosis singled in the first, or I'm sorry, grounded out in the first. And singled in the third and was caught going to second. Two to one is your score. French still in pitching. She's pitched excellently, got into some trouble and was able to get out of it. As that one grounded right back towards French, she'll fire it over to first. 
And the one three put out takes care of Ferocious. Brings up Marina De Simone. De Simone tripled back in the third. And she got it up over the head of Katie Zico in center field. Struck out back in the first, one for two on the day. One away here, top half of the fifth inning as DeSimone fouls that back for strike one. Two to one is your score. Quite the pitcher's duel here, French versus Price. French has pitched her way into and out of some trouble throughout the day. As that is a ball. One ball, one strike the count now. French with two strikeouts on the day. Medford's able to get six hits on her. And only those two runs, as that's a high chopper towards third. Fielded very well on the Sunday hop. Fired over to first. And an out there. Nice play by Gillis at short. Good patience showed by Gillis. She could have charged in there and tried to get it on a, on a weird hop. Instead, she waited for the Sunday hop to come right to her, fired it across the diamond to get that second out. And that'll bring up McDonough. McDonough with a big home run back in the first inning. Started off the scoring with that homer into the left field gap. She popped out to third with runners on back in the third inning. That was fouled away for strike one. No balls, one strike the count. Two away here in the top of the fifth. That one's left up high for ball one. McDonough, a very dangerous hitter at the plate. We saw her connect for that homer back in the first inning. As that one's lifted up towards center, Zico settles underneath it and she'll make the play and that will do it for Medford in the top of the fifth. One, two, three, they go, and it is still two to one as we move to the bottom of the fifth. Go here at the bottom half of the fifth inning here, senior day at Trom Field. The Islanders trail two to one. Gillis will lead it off here for the Highlanders against Rebecca Price. Price has been phenomenal on the mound, allowing only that one run back in the first as Gillis squares around to bunt. Offered at it and did not hit it, strike one. No balls, one strike, now the count to Gillis. Price, as I was saying, has been tremendous out there. She has eight strikeouts thus far through her four innings of work, averaging two strikeouts an inning. Quick math there, as that's a chopper over the third baseman into left field. So Gillis leads it off with the single into left field for the Highlanders, and the Highlanders have something doing here in the bottom half of the fifth, trailing only by a run. That'll bring Grover up. Grover has struck out twice. Price with those eight strikeouts. Only one inning did she not strike out a Highlander. Or I'm sorry, only one inning did she not strike out two Highlanders at, me, at least as that one's bunted back into the screen for strike one. So Price has been excellent. She pitched herself into some trouble with some control issues with two walks in the first inning. The Highlanders got one across there, but it has been nothing doing since there. Gillis will square around, and that one's called strike two as she pulled the bat back, but it was in there for the called strike. No balls, two strikes, now the count to Grover. Gillis is at first, represents the tying run here in the bottom half of the fifth inning. Up high, ball one. One ball, two strikes, now the count. Grover fouls that one off back into the catcher's mask. Just barely got any bat on that ball. She'll stay alive. One ball, two strikes, nobody away, nobody out here. Bottom half of the fifth inning hit. Highlanders trailing by a run, a pitcher's duel here at Trump Field. Strike three, 
as Grover takes the third strikeout of the day for her, and that will bring up French. French and Price have been locked in a pitcher's duel. French at the plate now for the Highlanders with the tying run at first. One away here, bottom of the fifth. That is a chopper, gets past the second baseman. And Gillis going to third, and she will be in as the tying run is at third base for the Highlanders after French's single into right field. The Highlanders have something doing here with runners on the corners, only one away, trailing by a run in the bottom of the fifth. That'll bring up Hardy with a great opportunity here for the Highlanders. She walked and scored the Highlanders' lone run in the first. She lined out to shortstop as that will be a stolen base for French. So runners on second and third. Two runners in scoring position for the Highlanders as Hardy steps in. Swung on on missed. One ball, one strike, now the count. Two Hardy. Highlanders with runners on second and third, only one away in the bottom of the fifth, and that is a swung on strike two. As Price dealing with runners on the bases, she hasn't dealt with that much since the first inning as that's fouled back into the screen. Hardy stays alive. One ball, two strikes, the count, one away. Bottom of the fifth, Highlanders trailing by a run. A pitcher's duel going on, two to one is your score, but the Highlanders have two runners in scoring position. So that one's in the dirt for ball two. Two balls, two strikes, the count. Don Eisner, the catcher for the Mustangs, has to do a great job to keep the ball in front of her with the tying run at third. Price took a little bit off that, left it low. Brings it to a full count, three balls, two strikes. Now the count, runners on the corners, one away here, bottom of the fifth, one run game, and that one is going to be a bloop single into center field, and the Highlanders have tied it up. And the throw goes all the way through to home, so Hardy heads up running, keeps two runners in scoring position, as she advances to second on the throw, so the Highlanders have tied this one up on the RBI single by Hardy. Two to two, one away here. Runners on second and third, and Elizabeth McEwen at the plate. McEwen swings and misses at the first one. McEwen singled back in the first, grounded out to second in the third. One for two on the day. Tie ball game now, two to two. The Highlanders have gotten one across. That is low for ball one, one ball, one strike. Now the count to Elizabeth McEwen. That's popped up, back into the screen. One ball, two strikes. Now the count to McEwen, one away. Bottom half of the fifth inning. Highlanders have been able to get one across on the RBI single by Hardy. Hardy now at second as she advanced to second on the throw. French at third. And swing and a miss. As Price is able to get the strikeout on McEwen. And that will bring up Pasqualino. Pasqualino walked back in the first. She is 0 for 1 as she struck out looking in the fourth. <clears throat> Highlanders have tied this ball game up at twos here in the bottom half of the fifth. And this one's lined in the left field. That's going to score a run as around third coming for home is Hardy. And she's across as well. A two RBI single for Pasqualino. Highlanders now leading this one four to two. And Katie Zico will settle in. She's one for two on the day, singled last inning left stranded at first. Swing and a miss by Zico. Strike one, two away here, so two out thunder there for the Highlanders. There's Pasqualino, the two RBI single. 
That's in there for called strike one. Or strike two, I should say. Islanders are taking the lead, and that one's popped back into the screen. Pasqualino was away with the pitch. She'll have to go back to first. Islanders getting three runs here in the bottom of the fifth to storm into the lead by the score of four to two. And this one's lifted up towards me, but over my head. I lost that one in the sun for a second, but uh, So we have the 0-2 offering again. And that one's low for ball one. And stealing the bag, the catcher's throw is errant to second base. And now the Highlanders have another runner at third as Pasqualino making things happen out there. She steals the bag of second and advances on the errant throw. So Zico now looking at a 1-2 count. Runner at third, two away here. Bottom of the fifth, swing and a miss there. As Zico is put down, three strikeouts that inning as well for Price, but in between those three strikeouts, the Highlanders put three across and storm into the lead. They lead four to two as we move to the sixth. We are back at Trum Field as the Highlanders lead going to the top half of the sixth inning by the score of four to two. They put three across in the top of the fifth and staked French to that two run lead as this one is a chopper past the shortstop and Zico fields it out in center field so Don Eisner with a chopper right up the middle leads things off here getting on base for Medford. Second time Eisner's been on base today we'll get a pinch runner for Eisner as Sophia Poroy comes on. She pinch ran back in the first inning as well. Olivia Tufts will come to the plate. She flew out to center field back in the sixth. Nobody out here. Highlanders leading by two. Runner at first for Medford and that's a hot shot past Elizabeth McEwen at third and poor Roy will hold up at second base but two singles to start this off. And Medford has runners on first and second with Rebecca Price coming to the plate. Price one for two on the day. She struck out in the first, singled in the fourth. and was forced out at third on a fielder's choice that ended that inning. They had a threat going that inning and she had, they had two people on. But French was able to get out of that threat. Highlanders leading four to two. Two runners on, this one's popped up. That's going to drop in as Grover not able to field it. And that's going to load the bases as Poroy held up at third. So a bloop single for Price. And now the bases are loaded as Elizabeth Lazaro steps up. The Highlanders had taken the lead with three runs in the top of, or bottom of the fifth. But Medford now storming back here in the top half of the sixth. As they have loaded the bases with nobody away. Highlanders going to talk about it at the mound. Price has done an excellent job pitching today. Medford has left four on the base paths throughout the day. They left two on the bases back in the fourth inning. But they have not been able to score since that first inning. So French has been lights out so far. A true danger here as the Mustangs have the bases loaded. And Lazaro steps in. She singled with a line shot out into right center field, back in the fourth. Swing and a miss at strike one. Great location there. It was very low in the strike zone, not much that Lazaro could have done with it if she had hit it. Infield comes in for the Highlanders. 
That one's left up high by French, ball one. One ball, one strike, now the count. Highlanders leading by two, four to two here. Top half of the sixth inning, Medford threatening with the bases loaded and nobody out. That one is a line shot towards center. It's going to get past Seco. This is going to empty the bases as Lazaro gets into third base. She rounds third and comes on home. And she is safe at home with the home run grand salami for Elizabeth Lazaro. And Medford takes the two run lead six to four on that four run salami by Lazaro. So the base is clear, nobody out here still. Highlander is now trailing by two once again. That one left high in the zone by French for ball one. Finnegan. Actually, I apologize, that's not Finnegan at the plate. That is DeRusso at the plate. Cata DeRusso. That one's left up high. Three and O oh is your count to DeRusso. DeRusso pinch hitting for Finnegan, who's over for two on the day. That's in there for a called strike. Three balls, one strike, now the count. French had been pitching phenomenally, but three straight singles and a home run put four across for Medford as that's low, ball four. DeRusso will walk. Emma Kylie stepping in. Runner at first, nobody out here. Top half of the sixth inning. Medford has figured out the puzzle that is French as that's lined out in the left field. Gets past Lindsey Farena. DeRusso heading home. And Angelina Indamba. Gets in with a triple there, RBI triple for Angelina Indamba. A run scores, that's DeRusso. And that will turn the order over as Ferocious comes up with a runner on third. Nobody out here for the Highlanders. Might be seeing a change here. French has pitched phenomenally. But Medford seems to have tracked down what she's doing out there. As they've been able to get five runs across here. Single, single, single home run walk and triple is what has happened so far here in the top of the sixth, leaving the Highlanders trailing by three. Grover will come from second base and take over the pitching duties. French is responsible for the runner at third. So Grover will come in for the Highlanders to pitch. She gets warmed up. Highlanders had just retaken the lead with three runs in the bottom of the fifth and then Medford said, Katie, bar the door, here we come. Six straight Mustangs reaching base on five base hits and a walk. And five runs brought across. Gray Ann Ferocious steps in for the Mustangs. She's one for three on the day. She singled back in the third, was out trying to extend it to second. 
Runner at third. There's Grover now in in relief of French. As that's a bunt by Ferocious. Goes foul for strike one. Nobody out here, top half of the sixth inning. So floodgates open for Mel Melrose. They've got five runs across to make it a seven to four game. That's left up high by Grover. Ball one, one ball, one strike. Now the count to Ferocious. Ferocious had squared around the bunt in that first pitch. Did not seem to square around there. She does think about squaring there, but Grover leaves it high. <laughs> nice job at the catching position there by Hardy as she was quick to the backstop, did not allow the runner from third to advance. Two balls and one strike. One strike, I should say, is the count to DeRosa or Farosis. Nobody out. Medford has five runs across. That's in there for a called strike. Hardy fires it down to third. Runner is back. In Damba, the runner at third. Two balls, two strikes, nobody out here as the offering is up high from Grover. 3-2 now, count is full. Medford leading seven to four. Looking to add on as they have a runner at third. Nobody out. As that is called strike three. Hardy dropped it. Throw goes down to third, for, or first I should say for the put out. And that'll secure the strikeout and the first out of the inning for the Highlanders. Runner stays at third. And that will bring up DeSimone. DeSimone tripled back in the third as she lined a shot over Zico's head in center. Dangerous portion of the lineup here for Medford. And Grover leaves that one up high, catches the top part of the zone for called strike one. Medford has five runs across here in the inning, taking a seven to four lead. Grover leaves that one up high. Hardy once again quick to the backstop. Does not allow the runner to advance. We're in the top half of the sixth, one out. Mustangs have a runner at third. Marina DeSimone up to bat with a 1-1 count. Pitch by Grover is up high for ball two. Two balls, one strike, now the count. Called strike two. Two and two now the count. Nice pitch there by Grover as it caught the outside lower portion of the plate. That's a line shot by DeSimone out in the right field. It's going to score the runner from third. Sixth run of the inning for the Mustangs on that RBI single. That brings up Julia McDonough. McDonough homered back in the first inning with just a mammoth shot into the gap in left center. Grover leaves that one up high for ball one. Only one away here, top half of the sixth. Grover in in relief of French. That run did come across so we can close the door on French for the day. As she went five plus, allowing eight runs. Swing and a miss there as Grover took a little bit off it. One ball, one strike now, the count to McDonough. French was pitching phenomenally well, allowed those two runs in the first inning. And was 
cruising along as that one's left up high. Ball two, two and one now to count to McDonough. One away here, top half of the sixth. French was cruising along until this top of the sixth when the first five batters reached. So that one's left down low for ball three. Three balls, one strike, now the count. I should say the first six batters reached. And six runs have been pushed across as well. As that one's in there for a called strike to McDonough. That loads it up, three balls, two strikes, now the count. Runner at first is DeSimone. She had a RBI single, as that's a chopper just past the attempt of the shortstop. As Gillis was not able to corral that one, and they get the ball back in after that single. Eisner hit a single to lead off the innings, came around to score on the home run. So that one was left up high by Grover. Ball one. Eisner came out swinging, swung at the first pitch she, she saw and lined it in the left center for that single. That opened up the floodgates. And next thing you know, Medford had six across. And an eight to four lead. That one's left down low by Grover. Ball two. Two balls, no strikes, the count. Left down low, ball three. Three balls, no strikes, the count to Eisner. One away, top half of the sixth inning. Medford leading eight to four. After getting six runs so far this inning. Grover on the mound in relief of French and that is in there for called strike two, or strike one I mean. Three balls, one strike, now the count. That's a chopper towards first. Bartlett will grab it and tag Eisner out. Checks the runner at third. So on the three unassisted. That's a second out of the inning. The runners do advance to second and third. Brings up Olivia Tufts. Tufts singled earlier in the inning. Also came around to score on the home run by Lazaro. That one's left up high by Grover, ball one. Now Grover up high on that one as well. Hardy very quick back to the screen, able to prevent the runners from advancing. Tufts one for two on the day. She came in in the fourth and flew out to center field. And then hit the single earlier this inning. That's left down low. Ball three. No ball, or three balls. No strikes the count. Two away here. Top half of the sixth inning. Highlanders trailing eight to four as the Mustangs have put six across and have two runners in scoring position. That is left up high for ball four, so Tufts will take first on the walk. And that will bring up Rebecca Price, the opposing pitcher for Medford. Price has been lights out on the pitching end. She also is two for three on the day. She struck out in the first and singled in the fourth and the sixth came around to score earlier this inning in the sixth. Bases are loaded with Mustangs as that one's down low, ball one. Five straight balls that Grover has pitched. 
struggling with her control. That's called strike one. One ball, one strike, the count to Rebecca Price. Medford leading eight to four after getting six runs this inning to take the lead on the Highlanders. She puts a charge into this one into center field. Zico drifting back. She's not going to get to it as one run will score. Second run comes around to score. Price is rounding third and heading for home. And she is safe with the home run. Third home run of the day for Medford as the Mustangs add on here in the top of the sixth. Three run score there, making it 11 to four. And Elizabeth Lazaro steps in. Lazaro with the grand slam earlier this inning. Swinging a miss there for Lazaro. Lazaro came up with the bases loaded, the Highlanders leading by two. And when she was done, the bases were empty and the Highlanders trailed by two. And Melrose, or Medford, I should say, keep on messing up my M's, has just been adding on. Can't mess up your M's in the GBL. Not a good thing to do. That one's in there for a called strike. Two away. Medford has 10 runs across this inning. They lead 12 to four. That was left up high. Two and two is your count. To Lazaro, fouls that back into the screen. Lazaro, two for three on the day, singled back in the fourth, but did her damage earlier this inning, as I said. Came up trailing by two, ended that at bat leading by two. As Grover leaves that one up high. That was a full count, actually, for ball four. Bring up DeRusso, I believe. Yes, Kata DeRusso. DeRusso walked and came around to score earlier this inning. Lazaro now at first, two away, top half of the sixth. And she puts a charge into that one as he'll drop into right field for the single. So Medford continues things going on the offensive end here. Angelina Indamba coming up. Indamba hit a triple, an RBI triple her last time up. So that one's in there for a ball. Medford plating 10 this inning, as that's a foul ball. One ball, one strike, now the count to Ndumba. Angelina settles in. Grover on the mound for the Highlanders, came in in relief of French. She is allowed two runs herself now. As that gets by foul though, for strike two.
Medford has runners on first and second. They lead 12 to four. So that's down low. Ball two, two balls, two strikes, another count. Gotten 10 runs this inning. Came into this run inning trailing by two. And turned that one around quickly. As she goes down to get that one, does Angelina. Sends that one into center field. That'll score another run. As Lazaro comes around to score. DeRusso moves on to third. And Imdamba is in at first with her second hit of the day and their second hit of the inning. They'll turn it back over again, and here is Ferocious. Now 11 runs in this inning as that's popped up. Bartlett in foul ground makes the snag, and that will do it. As 11 runs come across for Medford. They now lead 13 to four. We move to the bottom of the sixth. It is the bottom of the sixth inning here at Trump Field. The Highlanders trailing by the score of 13 to four. It's Medford able to put 11 across there in the top half of the sixth. So quite a ways to go for the Highlanders, and it's going to be difficult because Rebecca Price has been fantastic on the mound. She has 11 strikeouts so far today in her five innings of work. Settling in is going to be Bartlett. Struck out twice, both times, looking. Swings and misses at the first offering from Price. Price has been absolutely lights out throughout most of the game. She struggled a bit with her control in the first inning. Highlander is able to get some base knocks and two runs across in the bottom of the fifth. But aside from that, Price has been phenomenal as that is called strike two. Showing an array of different pitches, changing her velocity and locating where she wants to. Price has really been doing the job out there. That's down low, ball one. One ball, two strikes, the count to Bartlett. It was impressive enough that the Highlanders had gotten four runs as they got three runs across in the top or bottom of the fifth and one run in the first and scratched out a two-run lead as that's fouled back off the catcher into the screen. Count remains, one ball, two strikes. Impressive enough the Highlanders had taken the lead as Price had been so impressive striking out 11 through five innings and then Medford just the floodgates opened offensively as they put 11 across in the top of this inning to make it a 13-4 game. Bartlett puts a charge into this one and it's out into left field over the left fielder's head. And Bartlett is in at second with the double. As DeRusso out in left field not able to make the play. Bartlett on with the double. So the Highlanders will go to the bench here, it looks like. We'll see who they bring in. Highlanders trailing 13 to four. Bartlett stands at second, nobody out here. She doubled off of Price. They do go, and Alino coming in to bat for the Highlanders as Lindsey Ferreira will be pinch hit for. First offering to Andalino is swung on and missed, strike one. Bartlett stands at second for the Highlanders. Andalino in pinch hitting. Nobody out here, bottom of the sixth. Highlanders trailing by nine, as that is fouled off the batter. Strike two, no balls, two strikes, now the count to Andalino. That's in there, called strike three. Just an assassin out there. Rebecca Price, just fantastic. Gets her 12th strikeout of the day. 
That'll bring up Gillis. Gillis one for two on the day with a run scored. She popped out to second in the second. Singled and scored in the fifth. As that is past the catcher, Eisner. Heads up running there by Bartlett as she goes to third. One away here, top or bottom half, I should say, of the sixth. Gillis at the plate, one away. Swings and misses at the high cheese. Barely got contact with that one, able to foul it back into the screen. Strike two. One away, bottom half of the sixth. One, two is the count to Gillis. Highlanders have a runner on third. That is Bartlett. As that is a called strike three. Second called strike three of the inning for Price and she continues to mow down the Highlanders. That is her 13th strikeout of the day. And Grover will come up to hit for the Highlanders with two away here in the bottom of the sixth. Grover has struck out three times against Price. So that one's up high for ball one. There's only been one inning where Price only struck out one batter. Every other inning, she has struck out two or three. As that is swung on and missed for strike two, or strike one, I should say. One ball, one strike, now the count to Grover. Highlanders trailing here by nine, 13 to four. That one's fouled back into the screen. Strike two, one ball, two strikes, now the count to Grover. Bartlett stands at third. She doubled to lead this inning off. And Price struck out the next two Highlanders and is looking at Grover. And that is a called strike three. Three called strike three is this inning on her strikeouts. That is 14 strikeouts on the day for Price. A tremendous performance and we will move to the top half of the seventh. Highlanders trailing by nine. We are back for the top half of the seventh inning. Highlanders trailing 13 to four. Medford has DeSimone coming up, McDonough and Eisner, unless they make any changes here. There is a change out in the field. Uh, second base now has been taken over by Donovan. And that is inside for ball one from Grover. Islanders trailing here 13 to four. Medford, the floodgates burst open for them last inning as they got 11 runs. That's down low, ball two. DeSimone, definitely a part of that floodgate opening as she had an RBI single last inning. And that is a line shot, handled nicely though by Gillis as she catches that one. So a line out to the shortstop and that will bring up Julia McDonough. McDonough, two for four on the day. Had a single and a run scored in the sixth and a home run to start the scoring for Medford all the way back in the first. That is a line shot. Tough shot off the hand of Gillis. And the throw goes into second. McDonough is safe there. Has a tough chance on, uh, on Gillis. She doesn't want to see anybody coming in. She's going she's gonna to be looked at really quickly. That was a line shot she tried to handle there. Got a glove on it. Caught her bare hand as well.
Gillis is like, get out of here, coach. I don't want anything to do with this. My hand's fine. So that's going to bring up Don Eisner. Eisner has scored twice today. Singled and scored in the sixth, singled and scored in the first. That's in there for a ball. One away here, top half of the seventh. Highlanders trailing by nine, 13 to four. That one's down low, ball two. Two balls, no strikes. The count to Don Eisner. McDonough at second after her double, her one out double. Medford leads by nine as the offering from Grover is down low. Ball three. Three balls, no strikes. Now the count to, Mc, to I should say, Eisner. That's in there, called strike one. 3-1 now the count to Eisner. That's a chopper. Fielded well by Gillis, she fires it over. Bartlett does a nice job keeping the foot on the bag as she stretches for it. And on the 6-3 put out, that's the second out of the inning. McDonough will move to third on that put out. They'll bring up Olivia Tufts. Tufts one for two on the day, scored two runs in the sixth, walked and came around to score, singled and came around to score. So this one's grounded to Bartlett. Bartlett will take it and tag out Tufts for the out. So on the three unassisted, that will end the inning as the Highlanders have one more at bat to do it. We move to the bottom of the seventh. They trail by nine. We'll see whether they can. So we start things off here. Bottom half of the seventh inning. Highlanders trailing 13 to four as Donovan will come in to bat. She has not had an a bat yet today. Came in defensively for French at second base in the top half of the seventh. First offering here. Ball one from Price. Price has been absolutely phenomenal today. She has 14 strikeouts through her six innings of work. That one's up high for ball two. She struggled a little bit with her control, walking two in the first inning, allowing a run. Also was allow, uh, did allow a run on four hits, three runs, I should say, on four hits in the fifth inning, but has been absolutely lights out aside from that as that is a strike. Two and two is the count now to Donovan. She has spaced out 14 strikeouts through her six innings of work, and you can make that 15. Oh, I thought that was strike three on Donovan, my bad. The way Price has been going, it wouldn't shock me. That one's popped up, Donovan staying alive. Watch, Donovan's gonna hit a home run, make me look like a fool. Not that I would mind. That one's down low for the ball. Full count now. Donovan has worked it full. Three balls, two strikes. That's swing and a miss. And there's the 15th strikeout that I was assuming she would get. One away here, bottom of the seventh. Hardy coming to the plate. Oh, we have a pinch hitter. Hold on to everything. As Coco is our pinch hitter. Never 
That was in there for a ball. Just thinking about stepping in to face a pitcher like Price after spending the entire day on the bench. Got to get yourself warmed up real quick as that was a swing and a mix at the high cheese for Coco. Price has just been so lights out today. High chopper over to first. DeSimone no problem at all as she will take it unassisted. And that will leave the Highlanders with one out to go as McEwen coming up here in the bottom of the seventh. Highlanders trailing by nine, 13 to four. McEwen, one of the seniors for the Highlanders, multi-sport athlete. Had a lot of fun watching Liz play basketball as well through the years. So that one's in there for called strike one. One ball, one strike. Now the count to Elizabeth McEwen. McEwen, a three-point monster out on the floor. Strike two. Price one strike away from the complete game. That one's popped up as McEwen staying alive. All the domination. Ironically, this could be the only second one, two, three inning of the day for Price. As that one is a chopper right back to Price. She'll fire it over to DeSimone at first, and that will do it. On the one, three put out, it is poetically correct that Price be involved in that, as she was absolutely phenomenal today. 15 strikeouts for Rebecca Price. A tremendous outing as she goes the complete game allowing, let's see here, eight hits, four runs, striking out 15, and gets the complete game win. A tremendous job by Rebecca Price as Medford comes away with a 13 to four victory. Do want to shout out for the Highlanders. French, a tremendous start for her as she went five plus, but uh, ran out of gas there in the sixth inning as Medford was able to explode for 11 runs and take the lead, never to relinquish it. Also would love to shout out the seniors, Samantha Conley, uh, Cindy Wilson, Lindsay Farina, Elizabeth McEwen, and Katie Zico. Thank you so much for your years of effort with the Highlanders. And thank you at home for watching as the Highlanders are beaten today by Medford by the score of 13 to four. I'm Todd Harmon and you've been watching Somerville Highlander softball on Somerville LTV.